When we sometimes see our students who start looking like this, or they start doing this, <laughs> or they start doing this, <laughs> whether it's in class or if they're studying online, it's like a really clear sign that they can't take in any more information and that they're completely bored. <laughs> so that is the point where children really need to have some kind of brain break in the lesson before they become like, uh, like that <laughs> completely. Hello, I'm Miranda and I teach young children English as a second language through drama. And at these moments, in classes are great moments when a drama activity is a way of um, waking up our students, letting the wiggles out because it's all those pent up energies that can be released very, very quickly in a structured way. And so that if children do have to go back to sitting down and studying seriously, they can do in a much more um, energized but focused way. So I wanted to introduce to you, share with you, a really, really simple and quick activity. It's a drama break. Get children up on their feet in a focused and structured way, but energetic way. A really, really simple game. It's a drama game that's a well-known drama game that I've adapted a little bit for the English language classroom. And it goes like this. You're going to have your students standing up, whether they're online or they're in class with you. And you are simply going to instruct give them instructions of what actions you want them to do with you. And you're going to encourage them to do the actions, the miming actions with you in a very enthusiastic way. So I'll give an example. I would say, for example, let's climb a mountain. So I'm gonna start climbing a mountain and all the children are going to say, what you're going to encourage them to say is, yes, let's. Okay, so do with me, yes, let's. No, I can't hear you, yes, let's. So we're all gonna start climbing the mountain together. Then after a few seconds, I'm going to change the action. So we're gonna be practicing action verbs and I'm going to say, hmm, let's eat an enormous hamburger. And everybody is gonna say, yes, let's. Okay, and you're all going to start eating an enormous, no, that's not enormous enough, an enormous hamburger. Um, yum, 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 yum. So you're all going to be eating this enormous hamburger. Everybody's going to be doing their own thing, eating their own hamburger. After a few seconds, you're going to change again. You could say, let's hop. And everybody's going to say, yes, let's hop. So everybody's going to start hopping. Okay, so I'm giving you a few examples. Now the rest of the game, what you're going to do is encourage other students in the class to become the leader. And they are going to make a suggestion of what the whole group can do. So one, you could point to a student and that student, while we're all eating our hamburger or we're hopping, for example, that student will come up with another idea. Let's read a book. And everybody, yes, let's. And we're all going to read a book. Mm, very seriously, okay? Then after a few seconds, you can point somebody else and they come up with another idea of what action you can do. Let's open a door. Wow, yes, let's, with lots of enthusiasm. It doesn't matter what action you do, but it's with lots of enthusiasm and everybody's shouting out, yes, let's. Opening and shutting the door. And then you pass it on to somebody else. So you're pointing to the student. Yes, each student takes it their turn in leading the rest of the group. Everybody really enthusiastic and joining in with the action. And that's it. So that you've given them time to get all of their wiggles out. It's a structured play and you're practicing action verbs in English. So miming, speaking, communicating. Fantastic, that's what we want. And then we can go back to some serious sitting down learning activities <laughs> afterwards. Okay, I hope you have fun with this one. And remember, until next time, be theatrical.